The United States and Britain continue to launch attacks on the Houthi group, the follow-up attacks seek to stop the Houthis targeting shipping in the Southern Red Sea, the two countries said they had carried out additional proportional attacks on eight Houthi targets, they also said the attacks had support from Australia, Bahrain, Canada and the Netherlands. The number of targets is far lower than the 60 targets struck in the first airstrikes in Yemen carried out 10 days earlier. While the impact and number of casualties are yet to be ascertained, the latest American and British strikes mark the eighth time the US has struck the Houthis this month. While the attack also marked the second time Britain had participated in an attack on the Houthis, American officials revealed that the attack was carried out using fighter jets and ship-launched crews. On the other hand, a recording and report on social media said there was an explosion around the Houthi-controlled capital Sana'a. The American Central Commander in the Middle East explained that the bombing occurred shortly before midnight Yemeni time. The targets of the America and British bombings included a missile launcher system, air defense, radar and underground weapon storage facilities. Meanwhile the British Ministry of Defense revealed that Typhoon RAF jets had bombed targets at 2. The British Defense Minister said that together with the United States they had carried out further attacks in self-defense, Shaps emphasized that the attacks were aimed at weakening the Houthi capabilities and dealing another blow to the Houthis' limited supplies and ability to threaten global trade, although there were no reports of casualties. The British Ministry of Defense admitted that very thorough analysis had been applied in planning the attack to minimize the risk of civilian casualties.